Okay, I was on this one yesterday, and the flames. Flames are only like tiny, tiny. Should have a bigger pile or two. Dampers opening. Step valve, so it goes in steps. Tiny, tiny flames. I think something's stuck in the manifold. So. So we're going to change this gas valve out. I hear the word of the valve. I didn't want to put I didn't want to put another like a white Rogers valve in here because it would have been a totally different pilot setup but there's enough pilot line there I don't understand why it would need a regulator or a pilot. Try running it without the regulator and the pilot, see if I can get a better pilot out of it.
Hmm, how am I going to get that manifold out of there? side.
just fell out of there. I'm going to blow th some air through this really quick just to verify this is clear. Because the other one I ran into too I thought was clear. And then I had a piece of insulation fly out. Okay. Nothing out of the manifold. This was ordered straight up propane boiler. Got 13, size 13 orifices in there. Not making too much sense, but it was ordered factory propane. Getting the orifices back in right now. when it's off the boiler because doing it while it's on the boiler is a royal pain and we're going to have to set gas pressure Spring in. That goes right in there. Boop. Right down the hatch. And we'll show it about halfway down.
gonna have to adjust it anyways gas flow on the valve Double check gas flow. Ooh, fresh, fresh can. Blue magic for your pleasure. Triple check. A new can of blue magic. Definitely going to need new channel locks. sticker
I'll try it without the regulator. Clean this pilot up while I'm here. Maybe. Hopefully, I don't break this pilot line. these little boilers just can't work on them. jam everything in there
Myself a little lighter. Hmm. Super small line. the same without the regulator. That was the same without the regulator. No, actually the flame's bigger, which is good. It's bigger, but not much bigger.
pain. I hate these Honeywell valves. Okay, this is a step valve too, so I'm to find out if this helped. Turn the boiler on. Turn the water heater on. Let's see where we lay out on what you want to call it. Manifold pressure. Okay. I'm just gonna turn it on. Gonna step. There we go. Step stop. Oh, I'm only at. I'm only at five seven. Adjust it. Got more flame. A little more. I go ten five. Jerky all over. Doesn't want to adjust very well. Ten five it is. Ten five it is. A little more flame, not much. Yeah, 
かな Pilot's way better though. about a light. I'll tell you in a minute. yesterday. Barely. Sounds like I got a lot more gas. Okay. Okay, you're going to see in a previous video, 
that I was out on this one and incoming pressure was off I think the boiler I can't remember maybe it was running at 8 inches water column I couldn't get it any higher um, flames were dinky and as, as you've seen the flames were when I first got here were kind of small the pilot was small just the gas valve wasn't acting right uh, sometimes previous it would it would light up flames get high low and then it would finally open up all the way but I don't think it was opening up all the way because the flames were small but I still had I had the pressure I don't think I hit the volume something I don't I don't know something's going on with that gas valve that previous gas valve and I told the guy go either you can leave it like this or you can you know call me back in a few months and say hey it's not working or we can just go ahead and replace it he's just just get it done it's like he doesn't want to monkey with it so we just got it done for him so I went through everything on that um, I don't know why they had that was original factory propane boiler LP boiler came with a pilot regulator don't know why but took the regulator off the thing ran better without that got me a bigger pilot before it hit this little tiny pilot and it would have a hard time keeping the valve open so I just had I think the valve was just wearing out Someone, someone's in hurry jeez oh peace um I'm already going 60 so he just elected hey let's just take care of it now before I have any other problems and that also provides us hot water so yesterday when I was out there he's like I don't have any hot water I don't have any heat nothing I got nothing so yeah but got it tuned in put it at I think I put it at ten and a half inches of water column and I feel that's that's gonna be good it's burning good um, but my rant about Olight. I've been an Olight user for years and years and years. Um, Olight is in most of every one of my videos. My headlight. See that headlight? That headlight's been used and abused. Olight's a good product. But I went to be an affiliate for Olight and they denied me but you know you got gun tubers and this guy and that guy that don't use their product on a daily basis like I do and feature it in every one of my videos because I think it's a good product but then they they don't want me as an affiliate <laughs> The gun tubers and whoever else, the tool guys, they feature that product when there's a sale, and that's it. They don't, they may use it on a daily basis, but it's not in their videos on a daily basis. So, Olight can go suck one. Not happy with Olight, but I'll still continue to use their products. I just don't, they can, yeah, I'm not happy. But whatever. It's fine. So, that's it for this one. It was just a gas valve change. Um, an adjustment for the manifold pressure. Typical LP stuff. I did have to order that kit extra on top of the gas valve, so just be aware. When you order, order some Honeywell gas valves, you have to order a kit. Don't have the number offhand. But keep that in mind. So that's it for this one. You guys know what you need to do. Like, subscribe, hit up the GoFundMe, the Zell, the Venmo, the Amazon wish list for my son that's gone through cancer. Anything's appreciated. If you can't donate, watch videos. Give me some ad revenue. That is highly appreciated. Make sure you subscribe. Um, and we'll see you on the next one.